this took so long like the <laughs> doing the grass work here <laughs> yeah i thought i was gonna like oh, go insane I would. I would i would definitely hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we are back here in a torberg oh my god guys today is probably one of the craziest blockburg tours you'll ever see on the channel i believe the difference in today's blockburg tours versus the other ones you see on the channel is that i will actually be in a voice call i almost said chat voice call with the great fruit mcnair yes we're touring fruit mcnair's five plot wide palace of versailles i literally had to watch a youtube video on how to pronounce it versailles but yeah we're gonna be doing a blockboard tours with the great fruit mcnair you guys may or may not have seen him on the channel before um yeah he has a five plot wide palace for us to explore to make things a little bit easier we are going to be in a voice call and if i'm not as um crazy um i'm just you know trying to tone it down i don't want to be too weird <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna be in a call with him. I've never done this before, I don't think. But it'll be easier on him because, uh, you know, there's a lot of typing that goes on and it takes a, I feel like it would take a little bit longer to type it out. To make things easier on both of us, he's going to talk about everything and explain it the way he wants to and it's gonna be great. And I'm filming this intro before I get in the call because I'm not doing my intro. I'm not doing my intro with anybody in the call. No, that's weird. That's awkward. If you guys want to check out his social media, links will be in the description. Please go check him out. He has YouTube channel. He has Instagram, um, all those things and Twitter. Oh yes, before we begin the tour, let's go find the ninth elf. I'm just gonna cut to the part where I find it. Okay, bye, let's go. Are you serious? Oh, oh hi! It is near this tunnel, it's right next to the observatory tunnel. You just go up from the observatory tunnel, then you go over here. Of course it would be over here, and it's in this little corner. And it'll take a holiday cookie, so. Oh god, here we go. Uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the neighborhood! I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Hello. Hello? You, can you hear me well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Okay, good. I was worried my microphone was gonna like act up or something, but sometimes it doesn't work. Mm. Let me make sure Diana and my friend don't. Oh, okay. okay. Whenever you're ready. Whenever. Yep, let's let's do this. Woo! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey guys. Here we are. Palace of Versailles. <laughs> This is, uh, the, there's actually two gates to enter the palace. This is the outer gate, and there's this really big courtyard in the middle. Um, I forget what they call this gate, actually, but you can see there's, like, gold all around it yeah, and stuff. Detail. Yeah, so there's, there are five plots to this build, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest build that anyone has ever made. Um, I think so, too, yeah. <laughs> And so far, I could be wrong. I posted it on TikTok and someone commented and was like, sorry to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure I saw a bigger build. And I was like, wow. oh God. Oh my gosh. So this is a statue of Louis the 14th on his horse. He was, uh, he was the original king to um, build the palace. Like he was the first one to live here. And he basically built the entire thing almost in his reign. He's actually, he was the longest, as of now, he's the longest reigning monarch to ever live. Uh, but Queen Elizabeth's about to pass him up. So yep. if she if she lives two more years, she'll pass King Louis XIV as the longest reigning Dang. monarch of all time. So here we're approaching the main gate, all like gold leaf, which means it's, I believe it's iron underneath. And then they took gold and pasted it onto the iron. And there's statues on either side. Oh uh, I believe one statue represents like virtue the other one is peace or something and they're basically welcoming you into the palace I how long it took to make those oh the statues yeah i'm sure you're like used to it by now i kind of just i tried to kind of do the bare minimum for them because i knew no one would really look at them <laughs> here we are we're moving up into the main central courtyard here it is here we go there's a lot of um so originally this palace started off as just the very small hunting lodge it was louis the 14th father 
Louis the Thirteenth lived here. You, you know, Louis the Fourteenth would come here. Which, by the way, I'm dressed up as Louis the Fourteenth. <gasps> oh yeah. That's it. Oh, and and nice. it's perfect. My hat has a fleur de lis on it, and that's like the French symbol, which oh, I didn't even God. realize that until I got in the game. Same. <laughs> so, it originally was a very small hunting lodge, and Louis the Fourteenth grew up here and would come hunt here, and so it was very special to him. So he wanted to live here, you know, in his later life, and he basically built upon it over the course of many, many years. Oh, my. So it became huge, this huge palace that it is today. Is insane. That is crazy. So here, this is the marble courtyard, and the floor is all marble. Um, it's really pretty because sometimes the way the light hits it, it'll like shine off of it, you know? Yeah. And if you look up there at the top, there's a clock, and it has statues on either side of it there. The You can't really see it from here, but in the center, there's a... It's a small kind of portrait of Louis the Fourteenth's face in all gold, and it has the sun behind it. He called himself um, he called himself the Sun King of France, and he took a lot of inspiration from Apollo, the the Greek god, mm -hmm. or maybe it's a Roman god. I don't want to be wrong about that, but Same. yeah, he definitely thought very highly of himself. Now we're gonna go inside, and we're gonna enter through this side over here. Um, and the the first floor is very kind of cheery and not much to it. Once we go upstairs, it'll definitely change. Gonna, we're gonna walk through this way and through this stone hallway here. I did not mean to leave that candle on the floor. I apologize <laughs> for that. Oh, it looks great. Um, gonna go up these stairs. It's... I like these lanterns. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of wish I could have resized them to be smaller, but... Okay, so here we go. Oh, here, so this is the first... Um, oh, in the world. Here, there's a big stone, kind of a portrait sculpture of Louis XIV. This is called the War Room. The, the paintings were all done by Charles Lebrun, and it was designed by... Um, God, I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce his name, but his last name is Mansart. And it was built in 1678, and it basically, um, all the paintings, if you look at the ceiling, all around, all the different panels, they all kind of pay homage to France's um, battle victories and war victories throughout the years. Oh, yeah. If you look up, there's the god Mars. There's just a lot of like symbolism in here about oh, war. And right here, the sculpture of Louis XIV is him on horseback. And you can see people underneath him kind of being trampled on. Yeah. <laughs> he was basically a war hero for France. Here, we're going to walk into the most iconic room, probably in the entire palace, the Hall yes. of Mirrors. So, so the... Basically, the cool thing about this room is it used to be a big open terrace. Someone came along, it was Mansart, again, sorry, it's the same guy that did the other room. Yeah. He, he turned the, the um, terrace into this big long gallery with mirrors on either side. And back in the 17th century, mirrors were not something you came across very often. They were very expensive. Yeah. And I believe all of the mirrors in this room were imported from Venice, Italy. The The way the light shines across from the windows, you know, like during the day, all the light would reflect against the mirrors on the other side of the room and just illuminate the whole place with yeah. light. And you really see the artwork on the ceilings illuminated. And yeah. in real life, you would look out and there would be gardens all back there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, fortunately I couldn't put them there. Oh, yeah. But there are gardens, they're just on either side, so. A really famous room and if you look at the paintings on the ceiling starting from the the war room where we began and you yeah. walk across the gallery to the other end it basically takes you along the entire um history of france's war with austria and it's basically it takes you along the whole history and then at the very end of the gallery if you look up there's a painting showing the war is ended and there's pieces being made now if we walk into this room this is the peace room so the hall of mirrors on either end is bordered by the war room and the peace room so this uh we have a painting here and it, the name of this painting is louis the 14th bestowing peace to all of europe and it basically shows all these kind of symbols of peace surrounding him <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's really neat so, yeah, these chandeliers were so annoying to make. Oh it took gosh. me, like, I had to try to figure out a way to make them look crystal chandeliers yeah. without looking bulky. And I, mm -hmm. I figured out that putting the chandelier in the middle, like the, the one in the game, um, it really kind of helped give it that round shape, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can look out the windows and see some of the gardens over there. Oh, yeah. So pretty. But actually, let's go back 
down this way because there's some rooms over here that I forgot about that I wanted to show you. Right now, I'm um, gonna go into these rooms. These are very small, kind of elegant rooms. This one, I believe, it's called like Vizel d'Or, so I don't know what it means in French, but <laughs> it's basically just a little sitting room where you can kind of sit and just, I guess, think about things. I don't know. Yeah. There's like two fireplaces yeah. in it with some mirrors. And there's a lot of gold leaf if you look at the ceiling and the wall, but just a lot of white and gold. So this is the clock cabinet right here, and it's Ooh. where he would store their like clocks, I guess. <laughs> I, they had some pretty fancy clocks, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, this room doesn't actually exist. I just needed a room to connect to this other room over here, so I kind of just made this up. I don't know. This is the guard room. So this is where um, it's really plain. There's not a lot, but it does have a really cool view of the courtyard here. Yeah. So this is basically where the king's guards would kind of sit around and be stationed to protect, you know, the king and, and everything. Because in real life, the king's apartments would be right next to this room. Yeah, so this is where the guards would be. And that's kind of why he made it be decorated very plain. Because he was like, I don't want to spend a bunch of money just for my guards mm -hmm. yeah. to be sitting in the room. The next plot over here, and I tried to connect them as best as I could. So we're going to walk out through here. Yeah, so we can come look at the gardens first really quick. There's some gardens over here with a really big fountain. Love the design of it. Thank Very you. Pretty. A fountain. Ooh, so grand. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, this is the Latona Basin. Like this woman holding a child on the top and there's all these monsters kind of coming after them. That's what they kind of based that sculpture on. But we got some statues over here. Um, there were flowers, but I guess they died. They died. <laughs> uh, I had placed flowers. Oh well. So now we're we're about to go into one of my favorite sections of the entire palace in here. Here's a short little corridor, but in here we have the royal chapel. Oh no. Okay, hold on. There's <laughs> problems with the decals again. <laughs> I love your plot with all the Christmas stuff on it. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's great. Right. A bit messy. I wonder like yeah. how long it took how to long? do all the pictures on the ceilings and stuff. Oh yeah, I had yeah. to upload at least over like 300 different decals just for this build. <laughs> oh my god. And, well, either Roblox kept banning them, yeah. you know, or or they didn't line up perfectly. And they honestly, they don't really line up that great to be like mm. how it is now, but... Yeah, a lot of trial and error. Yeah. I can already uh, imagine the echo in this room. There's a lot more kind of that plain stone color being used as opposed to all the different colored marbles. Yeah. The floor is still, you know, all the marble <laughs> in it. There's a lot to see there. So this is one of the staircases here. Ooh. Yeah, this is uh, this is the Gabriel staircase. And once again, it's very neoclassical, very plain white, but it's still very you know, there's something about it I feel that's very elegant and, and beautiful, even though it's still pretty plain. There normally would be a statue here, but I ran out of plot data, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> this actually, the staircase wasn't finished till literally the 1980s. Um, it was left unfinished for over 200 years, or wait, I think it was only 150 years, possibly. This is the Chapel Vestibule, and this normally, um, this really would be the entrance to the chapel. Stone, we have these Roman-style columns here, very kind of still very plain yeah. stonework, and you, you get a view of the gardens looking out here. We got like the marble flooring in here, and in here, this is the Venus room, uh, the, and it's dedicated to the god Venus. And it's actually, it's the most Baroque room out of all of the rooms. And most the, the Baroque period things just got really, really fancy and decorative. If anyone wants to learn how to build this, if anyone wants to make this palace for themselves or see how to do, you know, build in this style, I do have a speed build for this on my channel. Oh yeah, make sure to check that out. <laughs> build or your own house like like there's some tips and tricks in there if any of this if you know people want to be able to incorporate it into their build see how to do certain things like the the ceiling artwork float actually taught me how to do that oh, yeah. um and he he placed he placed a lot of the paintings for me and then i went in later and added the decals to it i have like i have the link to his video where he shows how to do that on my video so if anyone wants to check that out they totally should they should yeah but so this is the hercules room here this is another really really famous room and it's basically it can be used as a ballroom it wasn't completed until louis the 15th 
And if you look at these floors here, the wood floors, these are also decals. This is called, I believe, parquet flooring or but so this is this here is the king's bed chamber. Cool. So this is the queen's bed chamber. Very yeah. So do you know um do you know who Marie Antoinette is? I've heard of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They all got their heads chopped off. But oh. anyways, oh. <laughs> um, this would have been her like ceremonial bedroom. She never actually really would sleep in here, but it was used for like the ceremonial getting up in the beginning of the day and then going to bed. They literally, they would have like ceremonies waking up and going to the sleep. Yeah, they, um, but they, they never really would sleep in there. It was mostly, like I said, just used for formal formalities and stuff. And yeah, we got this. There's a statue of Louis the 14th right there. I kind of tried to make it half decal, half real. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> Which, if you look at it up close, it looks really weird, but we're gonna go off and this next wing of the palace over here. So we got more gardens over here. I think this is the, the section of the gardens that I like the most. This is, yeah, this is my favorite. This took so long, like the, <laughs> doing the grass work here. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was gonna like oh, go insane. I would. I would, I would definitely. Right here, this wow. is the, um, this is the orangery, which is where they would store, they had a lot of different like, plant and fruit trees and stuff that during the winter they had to store them somewhere so they would store them in these like tunnels that went along the sides of the courtyard here but during the summer they would all be placed out but here we are on the ground level of it here you can see there's lots of plants and designs with the grass like all the poses Thank you, yeah. <laughs> I, I figured out, when I was trying to figure out the best way to make these statues, I first had them kind of just standing totally straight up and they just looked off. Like it looked <laughs> like mannequins or something. Yeah. Yeah, there's a really cool view from like right here if you look at the back side of the palace. It's a lot more plain than the front. So there's some really cool rooms to see in this, in this section of the palace. So I'm really excited. So here's just a short little connecting passageway with some busts. Yep, this is another fancy staircase. So this is the battle gallery. <gasps> oh, I love the uh, ceiling. Yeah, the skylight. Yeah, the skylight. There you go. Crazy how horses are like, they've been around for so long. <laughs> Everything. I know, I was thinking that. It's like people, like up until recently, like horses were what everyone used. It's crazy how fast everything just changed, you know? But so here we have um, a long line of some of the king's state apartments. They're all very decorative. They have a lot of marble and all the ceilings have artwork on them. But it's also known as, it's another guard room. This would have been the queen's guard room. Portrait here of Louis the 15th. This was the son of Louis, or the great grandson, I believe of Louis the 14th. And he was the worst king in my opinion. He was just like really crazy and did crazy things all the time. Like really, like stuff that he would be canceled for today, you um, know? Yeah. So this is the Diana room, and I, I built this room on purpose on Dianasaur's plot because I just thought it would be cool, literally named after her. Diana is another Greek god or Roman god. I hope I'm not mixing it up. It's, it's either a Greek or Roman god. And there's this really cool bust here of Louis the Fourteenth, right here. So in here, this is, this is one of my favorite rooms. This is the Mars room. I love the colors, yeah. And so here, this is the Mercury room in here. Yeah, more red. There's a lot of red rooms over here. We got a bed here. It's a really <laughs> small bed. I hope you don't get trapped again. Interesting board. It looks like a cutting board. <laughs> I know. I noticed that. It really. It yeah. looks like the Boxberg cutting board. <laughs> so this here, this is the room of abundance. Um, and it's. I guess it's supposed to be like you're looking up into the sky. Yeah, honestly, I don't need to say anything else about this room. I feel like that's <laughs> enough. So this is the Apollo room. This was an important room, especially to Louis XIV, because Apollo was the god that he kind of based his whole ego off of. Ego, yeah. And here there's a little, um, this is a connecting hallway. There's a lot of hallways like this in the palace that are just made with stone, and there's statues. That's a mostly pretty plain hallway. And then this takes you back into the battle gallery here. I believe we've seen everything. Everything? Wow. Okay, I wanted to ask you, which room out of all of them is your favorite if you had to choose? Ooh, that's a tough one. There's just so many nice rooms out there. Um, I like the gallery room a lot. The battle gallery? The battle gallery, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, a lot of people a lot. don't choose that one. 
<laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad though. Like I couldn't take it anymore. By the time this was <laughs> over, I felt like the guy that designed the Hercules room. Yep. Oh gosh. Really? Exhausted. Oh. Um, and I definitely will not be making anything this big again. This has like <laughs> this been exhausting. Your... Yeah. But yeah, got a speed build on my channel. Yes, well, that yeah. was everything, yeah, I guess. That was it all. Yep. Thanks again for showing me. It was really cool. I feel like I oh, gained yeah, a lot of like you points for this now but anyway guys that shall conclude today's very special block work tours episode um i hope you guys enjoyed it it was really crazy i had a fun time thank you fruit to mcnair for allowing me to explore and tour this plot it's a huge honor to be in the presence of an amazing builder and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it as well if you did make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free once again i'll be leaving all of his social media links in the description down below uh, i'm sure most of you have heard of him by now if not then please go check him out he is he's crazy he's taking blockenberg building to the next level along with many other talented people in the community but yeah thank you guys for taking the time ready to watch this and i'll talk to you in the next video have a great day peter bread and fruit signing out goodbye everybody Doesn't matter.